So, boys, what are you going to name your new fish? Spot. <laughs> what kind of a name is that for a fish? OK, Roger. Now, boys, you know, a pet is a big responsibility. Dad, it's just a fish. Well, I know that, but there are a lot of things you have to do in order to keep him happy and healthy. Feed him and change his water? Yeah, that about covers it. <laughs> He's doing a wonderful job with those boys. He bought them an 89-cent fish. That doesn't exactly make him Ward Cleaver. <laughs> Buying them a pet is the perfect way to teach them responsibility. Oh, that reminds me. I have to feed Muffin. Oh, goochie, goochie, goo. Oh, little thing. Here you go. Done. We don't want to be late for the big game. <laughs> oh, I hope you win. <laughs> oh, we will. Thanks to Slugger there. Uh, you know, we never made it into the playoffs until Eric joined the team. You never won a game until Eric joined the team. <laughs> <laughs> Who asked you? Honey, it's not going to be the same without you watching me. Will you kiss my bat for luck? <laughs> don't I always? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Good luck. See you at the FOFA meeting after the game. Right. FOFA? Snow, where are your priorities? Uh, you're missing a big game to go to a meeting of the friends of the forest animals? <laughs> well, I've always been friends with the forest animals, right, Eric? Well, they've always said they liked you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out of here. Mm. See you later, sweetheart. Don't hurt yourself, Don. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, pal. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're gone. Bye. Oh, I feel bad missing the game. Oh, do you like baseball? Uh, no, I don't really understand it. I mean, it, it's not like jousting. One guy gets up, the other one doesn't. Now, that's a sport you can follow. <laughs> Don and I have an understanding. I don't go anywhere with him. He doesn't go anywhere with me. Works for us. <laughs> well, Eric and I are very supportive of each other's interests. I mean, he's looking forward to the FOFA meeting. <laughs> Don't bet on it, Snow. After the games, these guys usually go out together. They drink beer, eat pizza, tell off-color jokes, and have uh, belching contests. Why? It's what they call male bonding. Well, Eric will just have to bond another time because he told me he's coming to my meeting. <laughs> Honey, none of the husbands go to these things. What makes you think you're married to the only prince? Trust me. <laughs> oh, that's Ellen. Let's go. I'll be right there. Oh, good. She brought the Mercedes. <laughs> Mother, we're leaving. Oh, you've obviously mistaken me for someone who cares. <laughs> just, just keep an eye on the boys and, and don't let them get too wild. I'll tie them up immediately. Mother. Oh, well, don't worry. I'm a splendid babysitter. I don't know why you don't trust me. Because you're a witch. <laughs> oh, that. Just promise me no magic. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Lillian, you promise no magic. Oh, don't be such a worry, Wart. Mm. The children will be in their room for hours. How do you know? Oh, take my word for it. <laughs> Grandma, you didn't make the knots very tight. Oh, Lillian. Who said that? Oops. What are you watching? Oh, uh, my baloney has the first name. It's O S C A R. Is that Bill Cosby? <laughs> Can we go outside and play football? No, I have to keep an eye on you. Um, play in here. <laughs> All right, you're the best babysitter, Grandma. That's what I told your mother. <laughs> Hey, Lillian, down here. Is no appliance safe? Give it the afternoon off. <laughs> Lillian, you are a terrible babysitter. What? <laughs> the children love me. Well, of course they do. You let them play football in the house. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Need I say more? Oh, pop off. Oh. Oh. Look what happened. We're gonna be in big trouble. No, we're not. Grandma said we could play in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's gonna be in big trouble. Witches don't get in big trouble. <laughs> let's get started. Put the lamp over there. Now, let's see. Ah, fixing parking tickets, fixing flats, fixing the World Series. <laughs> What's in here, Grandma? <gasps> <laughs> Extra linens. <laughs> now, pay attention. Oh, here we are. Fixing home furnishings. Broke in half, no need to fuss. Save a trip to lamps are us. <laughs> wow, neat. <laughs> Let's break it and do it again. Uh, Let's not. And don't say a word about this. Don't worry, Grandma. We won't rat on you. Oh, how sweet. Now, scram. Oh. <laughs> Lillian! Oh, you're not going to start in on me, are you? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, well, let me get comfortable. <laughs> are you ready? Go ahead. Use your head, woman! <laughs> How do you think those boys are ever going to learn to take responsibility for their actions if you're always there to bail them out with a snap of your fingers? Oh, gee, I sound just like my father. Oh. oh, no. This is terrible. Well, you finally show some remorse. Remorse? Please, I broke a nail. Okay, that's it. I quit. <laughs> Bye. Right then. Yeah, I still can't get over it. Where did you learn how to hit like that? Oh, you know, Don, a bat is a lot like a broadsword. Yeah, and it's the same motion that you use to behead a troll. You know, <laughs> your feet just slightly apart, step into it and keep your eye on the head. Yeah, I hear that that's how Reggie Jackson got started. <laughs> I take it from the stench, the game went well. Yeah. Another victory for Don's carpetbaggers. <laughs> I cheer, but my pom-poms are in the shop. <laughs> so, Lillian, how'd everything go around here? Splendid, no problems at all. The house was fine, the children are fine, the lamps are fine. <laughs> and I'm off for a manicure. Oh, by the way, did you have a nice time with the Friends of Forest Animals? Fofa? I forgot, oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> you forgot Snow's meeting? Oh, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Lillian, I'm a grown man. Snow and I have a wonderful relationship based on love, trust, and understanding, not fear. If you say so. 
snow's gonna kill me. Harry, buddy, take it easy. What's the big deal? Don, I promised her I'd be there. That was your first mistake. <laughs> Let me tell you something about these charity things. They're for the birds. No, this was for the deer and woodchucks, I think. <laughs> I don't care what the cause is. Just an excuse for a bunch of hens to get together. Oh, no, Don. Hens are barnyard animals. This is forest animals. <laughs> oh, what am I going to tell her? Hey, you tried to get there. No, no, I didn't. That's what you tell Snow. <laughs> but, Don, that would be lying. Yeah, now you with me? <laughs> He's playing dead. Well, that's a good trick. <laughs> no, Corey, he is dead. Oh, no. How come? Well, did you feed him? No, I thought you did. No, not since we bought him. <laughs> that's going to kill us. Maybe Grandma could fix it with her magic. Hey, you're not as dumb as you look. Thanks. Grandma! She's not here. But her spell book is. Come on. You there? Alone? Yeah. What are you, chicken? Yeah. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. Who said that? Oh, I just know something terrible happened to Eric. We should have gone straight to the hospital. We should have gone straight to the pizza hut. No, Eric gave me his word that he would be there. He's probably lying in a ditch somewhere. Battered and bruised, calling my name. Snow? Oh, oh, Eric, you're okay. I was so worried. What happened? We won. You mean you're not battered and bruised? Well, I think I might have raised a strawberry sliding into second. Eric, sweetheart, what about my meeting? Well, you know, Snow, the, the funniest thing happened on the way to Fofa. We stopped off at the Pizza Hut. Here we have a fish's dinner. Help us, please, to make it better. <clears throat> is it better? No, but it's bigger. <laughs> now what do we do? I don't know. But if anyone finds this, we're, we're in, in big, big trouble. trouble. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. You want to get some ice cream? You want to come? No. no. It'll spoil our dinner. Yeah, we want to save room for broccoli. There's something fishy going on here. Snow, what can I say? I I'm sorry. Oh, tactical error. <laughs> She's got him now. Eric, sorry isn't good enough. Uh, Sally, maybe we should, uh, leave. When I'm ahead? Are you kidding? No, no, that's not the way it goes. You see, I say I'm sorry, you say I forgive you, and then we kiss and make up and live happily ever after. Grow up, Eric. <laughs> I think she needs me. See you at home. All right, Charmster. You'll all sat around. Where did I go wrong? Well, for starters, you never lead with the truth. <laughs> okay. We need a new strategy. Well, I could just kick myself. That isn't it. You got no reason to feel guilty. You said you were sorry. I did, didn't I? So you didn't mean it. That's a technicality. <laughs> Bottom line is, there are a lot of baseball games and a lot of faux tees. Now, where do you want to be? Baseball games. Good answer. 
Now, if you let her make you feel bad about this week, what are you gonna do next week when she wants you to go to another tea to make up for it? Well, I, I guess I better go to the tea. Oh, bite your tongue. Wouldn't that hurt? Charm, sir, pay attention. First of all, guys don't go to teas. It's not natural. Guys shouldn't even drink tea. Well, I hardly ever do, and I never take lemon. All right. There's hope for you. Okay, now, you've already said you're sorry, which is practically an admission of guilt. What we got to do now is cut our losses, get out of this as cleanly as possible. Okay, how do we do that? Well, there are two ways to go. Yeah. Flowers and jewelry. I always go with flowers first. They're cheaper. Now, he's going to bring you flowers and apologize again. That's so sweet. It's a hollow gesture. Not to mention cheap. Hold out for jewelry. Isn't that tricky and manipulative? Yeah, now you're with me. Come on, Chomsky. Take it down to my florist on the corner. Have you set up in no time. What, what, you, you have your own florist? Are you kidding? Life with Sally. I don't know, Sally. Maybe I should just let the whole thing drop over my dead body. <laughs> now, what do you think women were put on this earth for? To make men pay for their mistakes. <laughs> well, he said he was sorry. What else can he do? Have you seen the Neiman's catalog? <laughs> now what do we do? Let's bury it out back. Well, I really gotta go. Quick, over the couch! <laughs> Thanks a lot for the advice, Sally. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. I know. Remember, emeralds will go great with your eyes. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, boys. Hi, Mom. I think it's time to clean the fishbowl. <laughs> we will, Mom. We love you, Mom. How sweet. I love you, too. Nice touch. <laughs> okay, new plan. Out the front door. <gasps> Someone's coming! Ah. Hello, boys. Hi, Grandma. What are you two up to? Nothing. We love you, Grandma. Honey, I hope these will make you feel a little better. Oh, what a lovely bouquet. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't a vase have been nicer? Eric, you can't buy me off with flowers. Don said I could. Well, Sally said you couldn't. <laughs> I'm back from my manicure. Show me what's going on. Uh-uh. <laughs> I told you, I quit. Are you still mad about this morning? Lily, what good is my advice if you refuse to listen? Do you think I just talk to hear the sound of my own voice? Not that it isn't magnificent. <laughs> I mean, such range and resonance. <laughs> yes, splendid. When they remake the Ten Commandments, you can play the voice of God. I could, couldn't I? Yo, Moses! <laughs> Just show me Snow and Eric. When I left, he was in trouble. 
Honey, forget about them. You got bigger fish to fry. So, Luther has a date. What's that to do with me? Because of you, the boys think that magic can fix anything. That overgrown catch of the day is a tragic result of your irresponsibility. Ooh. Ooh. I just love it when I'm right. Okay, Snow, you win. Get the Neiman's catalog and pick out a nice piece of jewelry. Eric, I don't want jewelry. Oh, no. Don warned me about this. Okay, what's it gonna be, a fur coat, a car? I want to know why you weren't there. I told you, I forgot. And to tell you the truth, I don't even like the forest animals. They're messy and they smell and... I never know what to say to them. I didn't ask you to do it for the animals. I asked you to do it for me. You think you'd show a little support? Oh, support, huh? You want to talk about support? Okay, fine. I had a really important game this afternoon and you weren't there. It's exactly the same thing. Not even close. I never said I would be there and you did. Oh. No, please. Eric, I have feelings too and you can't walk all over me like a fish. A fish? You should have seen the one that got away. Well, boys, I hope you've learned that magic can be dangerous. Not even your grandmother knows what she's doing half the time. I know enough to turn you into Shamu. <laughs> Mother, could we just get on with it? Roger's getting a little ripe. All right. I think I've got it. Magic is as magic does. Make this fish the way it was. Lillian, you're the tots. <laughs> well, don't all agree at once. But it's still dead. Well, of course it is. I'm a witch, not Oral Roberts. You don't want Roger to be dead. Then you should have fed him. Corey, nobody wants Roger to be dead, but there are some things in this world that just can't be fixed. You see, boys, sometimes... You say you're going to do something, but you don't. And that can hurt somebody you really care about. Thomas, what does this have to do with us? <laughs> it means Dad messed up worse than we did. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm sorry I let you down, Snow. This time I mean it. This time I believe you. Oh, I don't have to watch this. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh. Will you look at this? Oh, the poor thing. But Eric and the boys have learned their lesson and Snow is happy, but alas, poor Roger. <laughs> at least he gave his life for a worthy cause. <laughs> You ever thought of doing eulogies for SeaWorld? <laughs> Muffin! <laughs> Sushi! <laughs> oh, Snow, this tea is delicious. Thanks. Lemon? Please. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, hi. It's for you, honey. 